Hey everyone, April Dunham here. In this video, I'm going to share one of my favorite tips for Microsoft Teams. I know more and more of us are having to work from home, so we're living in Microsoft Teams a lot these days. In this video, I wanna talk all about tabs in Teams. Tabs allow you to integrate the tools and services that you use every day and love right directly within the Teams application so you don't have to go out into any other website or service. You might have noticed that when you create a team, you get three tabs by default. The first tab is Post, where you have all of your chat history. Then you get a tab for Files, where all the files are stored, which, quick tip here, these files are actually stored on a SharePoint site. And then you have a Wiki, where you can have notes within the channel. But you can easily add other applications in here in your channels as tabs, just by clicking this plus button. There are so many different things that you can add as tabs in your Teams. Obviously, we can add all the Office 365 things that we'd expect, like SharePoint document libraries, Excel spreadsheets, Power BI reports, stream videos, planner, and my personal favorite, Power Apps. And you can even add in another website and have it iframe directly here within Teams. Aside from that, there's hundreds of different connectors out there for various services that you can connect to. To add a tab, just select what you want to add. In this case, let's look at embedding a Microsoft form into our team channel. With Microsoft Forms, you can either create a new form directly here in the tab or add an existing form. I've already created a webinar signup form, so I'm going to save that and add that as a tab into this channel. Now I have this form embedded right here in my channel where everyone can easily go and sign up for this webinar. Hope you found this tip helpful. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.